Good morning, folks. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. The workout today is going to be a compound and cardio combination. So we're going to do compound exercises followed by a low impact cardio exercise. I'm going to alternate the two and it's going to be a no repeat workout today. Grab a variety of dumbbells. You'll need those. I'm also going to use a box or bench, something to step up on for just a few exercises. You can grab something like that or I'll show you a modification if you don't have one. The format, 45 seconds of work with 15 seconds in between. I'll start with a warm up and we'll end with a cool down. All right, we have a new program out, Menopause Override. So if you're in that stage of life, as I am, click the card at the top of the screen, take a look at that program, download it today, complete with workouts, nutritional coaching, and lots of information to help you through this stage of life. All right, are you ready to move daily? Let's do it. intensity intervals on my watch for that combination of strength and cardio today should be a good one I do love a nice no repeat that's, that's fun right this keeps it fun and fresh reach up and over I'm gonna lift on a little bit lighter than maybe I normally would I still have a bit of a shoulder issue going on so if you lift normally what I lift just know that we're going a little lighter today okay uh, circles here And switch directions. All right, take it wide. We're gonna touch the ground, reach up for tiptoes. Get those calves warmed up a little bit as well here. Four more here. And some heel digs right here, stretching the hamstring. Two more. All right, let's take it into a squat overhead reach right here. Last one here, and wide, opening the chest. And let's touch our toes, opposite hand to foot. Hamstring stretch here. And last here. All right, final little side to side lunge. Drop that opposite shoulder toward your knee. Nice inner thigh stretch. I think we'll start off with the cardio, just to increase blood flow a little bit more before we grab those weights. All right, so here are your first four exercises. I'm gonna grab some fives. You can grab weights, hold weights or not. I'm gonna squat up diagonal, reach, punch. Okay, wider stance, drop it low and punch, low and punch. Very good. Keep your abs engaged, especially when you're holding the weights and 
rotating. I wanna make sure that you're not loose in your core. Keep it tight. All right, that kicked it up. Let's move into the Monica. I'll hold 15s. It's a suitcase squat into that hinge and stand. Feet are shoulder width, shoulders back. Squat first right here. Bring the weight to the front. Hinge and stand. Good. Squat, hinge, stand. break you can either box or shuffle or tap shoulders back here we go you're here and here nice and tall Press, 110, I'll call halfway. Hand is on the shoulder, feet wider than shoulder width, just a bit. You'll squat, abduct, and press. Drop it low, and drive and lift. Abducting that leg out to the side. Here, switch and work. Back to my cardio. I'll go with the fives again. All right, we're gonna tap and kick, tap and kick. Flat back, here we go, you're here and here. that reverse lunge. So we'll hit a goblet squat first, then your lunge. Drop it here into a lunge. Back to goblet, switch legs lunge.
wide twist, knee, punch. I'll hold these, I'm super wide. Drop me in low, punch, and tip the heel. All right, you're here and here. Very good. A little lower, that's it. Stationary lunge with your skull crushers next. I'm gonna grab a 15 there. Up on halfway on the leg. Everything is up, everything is down. So start in that stationary lunge position. I'll start everything down here. All right, drop it low. Press up, have a good hold on that dumbbell. All right, switch legs. Okay, squat, front kick. I'm gonna hold those fives. Here, alternating your kick, shoulders back. So you'll squat, kick, switch. Feel free to add a punch if you like. Okay, I'm gonna hold mine here. That inchworm push up coming up. All right, remember you can modify the push up from the knees. And if you don't like the crawling down on the hands, stay down in the push up position and just continue 45 seconds of push ups. Otherwise, walk it out, push up here, walk it back, and stand. Now we're gonna rapid fire that squat reach tiptoes. Here we go. Low and tiptoe there. Low. That's it. give an additional 15 second rest after this exercise. If you don't need it, stick with this one. All right, I'm gonna switch my top. 
Woo, I got hot already. I'm going into that curtsy lunge crunch. I do love this, holding a 15 here. The hand is up. I'm going to curtsy here, crunch right here. We're doing 45 seconds per side. Here we go. Drop it low and crunch. You can't manage the crunch, you just tap here, okay? If you're too tippy, that's fine. But because I've given us 45 seconds a side, I think you can maybe practice a few if you feel good about it. Ooh, there's the burn on the glute. It's not too long. Stay with me here on this side. Okay, that was a good burn for 45. Not all of you will have the full curtsy lunge available to the knee. You can do a reverse lunge as well, right? All right, other side. Take it low. Crunch. Here too. I'll go half on the leg, hinge forward, and work here. Up, up. That's it. Three, two. One switch legs and work. Hold. 
holding this five for our butterfly sit up. We're gonna do a few on the ground here now. It's that overhead reach with that dumbbell up. And we're gonna front press at the top. Crunch them on, here we go. Reach, sit, press. Very good. Bear tap, plank jack for our cardio. So you're gonna start in bear, we're gonna tap, tap, and you're gonna walk it back and tap. You can jack if you want to kick this up a bit, okay? Here we go, tap, tap, walk it in, and tap, tap, walk it out. Stay low, bum is down, hover, make those quads sing. Nice and quick. for this, pressing over the chest. When my arms go down, my legs go down. Ready, here we go. Everything is down, everything is up. Slow and controlled. You could do single leg drop as well, if you're finding this hard on your back. Standing for our cardio next. All right, up we get. Woo! Good. We're doing a low sumo. Alternating foot tap. No weights for me on this one. All right, low tap and tap. That's it. Stay low. It's a good quad burner here too. Deadlift high pull coming up. I'm gonna grab 12s. Ah, and a sip. Okay, knees are really soft, back is really flat. Here we go. Deadlift, stand, full high pull. Whatever you can high pull here. Last here. 
All right, lateral walk with the valley press. I'll grab both fives, valley across my mat. Make sure no dumbbells are in your way. All right, palms up, get low. You're here, two, three, tap, return. Two, three, tap, return. Shoulders back. Squat, press, squat, okay. You can punch without the dumbbell if you like. Wide stance, drop it low. Triceps, feet shoulder width, and drop it low, stand, curl, press. This is your crush complex right there. Up here, back, up. Eights, maybe a bit light, probably could have done tens. See, that's the downside of just hitting it once. Sometimes we don't know exactly, you know, where our heart rate's gonna be, what our muscles are gonna feel like, well, right? So you can't really repeat it. But heart rate's up, that is good. Very good, let's go right into that cardio kick. I'm gonna hold the eights, fives, Alternating hand to toe. Here we go. You're here. Here. Core engaged. Let's go. Woo, biceps feel this one right now. That five is not nothing, just throwing it overhead like this. It's good. Three, two, and one. Good, I'm moving into standing out. You're gonna do a elbow to knee crunch, hand to toe touch. Get ready, I'll call half, ready. You're here, now straight leg, here, bent, crunch, crunch, hitting those obliques. All right, switch legs, here we go.
All right, grab those fives. All right, actually, I'm just gonna use one, I think. I'm gonna do a wide stance, knee drag, same side. So you're here, up here. Nice little squat in between. Here we go. Low, drive, low, drive. You're gonna feel the burn on this guy. I will call half. Last here, switch sides. All right, sticking with that wide squat for your plie bicep curls. 12s for me. You're gonna curl at the bottom. Super wide, toes are out, shoulders back. Drop it, low, curl, low and stand. Low, elbows in and stand. Our cardio is going to be done in this leg position. I'm going to put the weights down now. All right, so set those. Good. You're going to be in a nice wide predator, tiptoe, predator, tiptoe, rapid fire. Toes are out. And to get low, tip low, toe. Good. Stagger deadlift hammer curl coming up. I'll hold a 15 for that. Whew. Gotta leave my inner thighs alone for a second. Good. So, right foot is back, holding the weight in my left hand. I'm gonna hit it here, stand, hammer here. What? Let's work. You're down, stand, hammer, stay on this side, back is flat. Stay on this side, okay? Stay with me here. We haven't done enough yet. Stay with me. Hinge and curl. Last one here. Okay, good. That 15 got heavy towards the end. But had I switched it, 22 seconds wouldn't have been enough. All right, left leg is back, tiptoe. I'm hinging, reaching my hips back. Curl the top.
All right, alternating jabs. So you're gonna jab, cross, jab, cross. Stay here, I'll call half, and then we'll switch our stance to jab, cross on this side. All right, drop it low and work here, up, up. Watch your face and teeth. Three, two, switch your side and jab, cross, jab, cross. All right, plie, Y press. I'll hold eights here. Nice wide stance. Hands at your shoulder, drop it low. And press. set these dumbbells on the ground at the end of each mat in front and then do a ice skater dumbbell touch. Okay, one is there, one is there. So I'm gonna do a giant step, try to touch that dumbbell if I can. Reach down if you can't touch. Ready, and back is flat. Back knee has to drop for you to be able to touch that. So if you don't have the flexibility, just stay up tall. We're taking it down to the ground again. Get ready. Blast off up down plank. Here, plank position. Thumb is down. Reach back and up down plank. Mod from the knees if you have to. Here we go. Remember, you can mod from the knees. So that would look like this elbow, elbow, hand, hand. But pop up for that reach back if you can. Try to keep your core stable and facing the ground, not rotating a lot. I like the quad activation in that. All right, windmills. I'm gonna do the low impact version. High would be here. Otherwise, we're just lifting leg side to side. Here we go. And up, up, good. This still work. Feel my glutes? Oh yeah. Of course, you can stand and just hit jacks if you don't like this on your wrists. Stay down for abs after this. Oh, belly. A 
Okay, well it's abs and a little forearm, front arm, shoulder. You're gonna do a V-sit, press out. As you sit back, you press forward. Here we go. Lean and press. Lean and press. Super flat back here. Of course, over the chest is more challenging than above the head, okay? So try to get it here where you're fighting gravity. Jump or squat, step. Okay, no weights for me on this guy. I'm just gonna go narrow, wide. Of course, you can jump if you'd like. Here we go, narrow, wide, back, narrow, wide. Nice little pulses. Don't just want you to tap, I want you to squat. Okay, it's glute activation. We're gonna go into that squat, thrust, twist. This little torso twist, okay. I'll hold eights. So as I'm ascending, the torso turn and press alternating sides. Let's do feet shoulder width. Drop it low. And twist. Now switch sides. down. I'm going to do that um, squat, reverse lunge. Same side until I pull half. This one's always challenging on the legs. Drop it low and squat. Reverse, squat, reverse. Same side here. Switch legs low and drop. I'm gonna grab my step for a step up front raise combo. You don't have a box or bench or stair. You're doing a squat high knee, okay? With a front raise. Oh, this burns. Almost there. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. All right. Alternating on your step up, I've got eight. Front rows at the top, or squat, high knee. And step, raise, down, down, push. Try not to use momentum on your front raise. All right, 
Let's do that. And back to my fives. Duck under, cross body. Wide stance. Here we go, duck low, duck. We did something like this at the beginning, but without the low duck. Now you're warmed up, get low as you can. This is your last exercise here, so let's pick up the pace now. Hit it hard, boom, let's go. Little lower, Woo. last 10 seconds. Stay with me. Last three, two, one and done. You move daily in your compound and low impact cardio. Great total body workout. Your first stretch if you can, don't forget to smash that like button. Excellent, let's go right into pigeon. We'll get a nice total body stretch in here before my camera dies. Awesome, everyone, well done. That 40, 45 minute time frame was shown in different studies to be really great for increasing our BDNF, brain derived nootrophic factor. Switch sides, lots of studies were done on that, um, especially in seniors. Am I considered a senior now at 52? In some places, I think you're eligible for a senior's discount at 50. <laughs> that feels so wrong. I don't even want it, but I'll take it. Um, anyway, 40 minutes was sort of the time where they saw a greater increase in BDNF from exercise, both in cardiovascular and in resistance training. Um, from what I read in the studies, it looks like your telomere length, which is like this little plastic piece on the end of your um, shoelace, it's like that on the end of your DNA strands. And the longer it is, the longer you live, the better longevity, more longevity, the shorter, shorter longevity. So that's sort of how they uh, see that. Anyway, exercise, proper nutrition, good sleep, all of that, of course, all of the pillars that we stand on and stand for at Move Daily Fitness help increase that. So back to the brain derived nootrophic factor. The studies showed that 40 minutes was a great time uh, to work out multiple times a week. You know, getting at least that 150 minutes of movement in, in a week. I know a lot of us get a lot more than that, but that was the optimal time. And as that BDNF increases in our brain, it helps to stave off things like depression, Alzheimer's, dementia, anxiety. Right, so it's a great natural and free remedy to help your body work in its favor, basically. Yes, we might have, you know, our genetics might influence what happens to us, there's no doubt about that, but we are 80% epigenetics, according to Dr. David Sinclair, the longevity, longevity specialist. He says 80% is in our control, is in our hands. That is substantial. And I remember training a doctor once and she said, she said it's 75% at the time, but 75% of the people who come into her office, it was all lifestyle related issues, all of it, which means it's in our control. And that is huge. That makes me so excited that I have a really big part in my health, longevity, and how I feel, um, you know, whether I get certain diseases or not. That's important to me. It makes me feel like I'm in control and that, that's a good feeling because yeah, I can, I can do something about it. <laughs> I can make that shift. And you know what I recognize? Not everyone's environment, not everyone's demographic, not everyone's upbringing has influenced them, influenced them to see this as important. And if you're sort of like the black sheep amongst a family who doesn't really care about this, that is more challenging. And that is the card and the hand that you were dealt. And we all have different things in our lives that are challenging that we gotta face. And you know what? Part of what I've learned in therapy this year is as you bump up against those things that are challenging and hard, that you maybe don't want to face, that's how we grow. It's only when it rains that we grow. <laughs> I love that song because it's true. Don't you agree? 
Do you agree? Because you're so cute. Anyway, there we go. So let's do this. Let's move daily so we can increase our BDNF, increase the length of our telomeres, and make ourselves, you know, healthier, happier, more energetic, stronger, definitely sexier. <laughs> hey, I feel good in my body when I exercise. I really do, and that's important to me as well. So it's not all about looks for me, but that is, I just, I want to feel really good and I want to feel confident and that is part of it for me, for sure. All right, everyone. Thanks for moving daily with me. If you're looking for a workout for tomorrow, click or tap right there or there and I'll see you in the next workout. Oh, hey, don't forget, there's our menopause override. If you need help overriding your own menopausal symptoms and moving daily, there's your accountability and motivation right there. See ya. See ya. Kisses. 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 Kisses.